Data visualization is a method of squeezing an enormous amount of data into a finite space. On the left, you see Benjamin Franklin's day timer. On the right, you see how, do, how long do animals live circa 1954. Over here, we understand that this is a data visualization of a place that we've all been to, I'm sure. An airport. This one happens to be Chicago Airport. This visualization may help us in getting around the airport, but maybe it's a cause of delays at this airport, which is described in this next data visualization, travel delays at the nation's biggest airports, of which all those nice big red circles on the right side happen to be related to Chicago. Beautiful. <laughs> I've been there once at Christmas time. The next data visualization is a 1972 circa, uh, circa 1972 uh, data, data visualization of the New York subway system. So I can go from the Bronx to the airport. If I'm on Staten Island, I'm probably going to have to swim across the channel. But speaking of swimming, there's the Mississippi River system in a data visualization that's very similar to the subway system. So if I lived in Minnesota, had to go down to New Orleans and not use CO2 along the way, I could hop up on my boat, take my laptop, row down the river. On the left, you see World, Potato World. That's actually the force of gravity on various areas of the Earth. On the right side is, what if Africa was one of us? As you can see, it includes the United States in there, China, UK is on the Madagascar there. Percent of households filing an income tax return. All of a sudden, it was popular to file an in income tax return. And then 1947, it was like, whoa, wait a sec. Let's stop filing as many income tax returns as we did. Um, so yes, this is data visualization. This is also another type of a data visualization in the form of commerce related to food. Where can you see uh, Jason Bateman next to a pancake, some bacon, and a sausage? This is, this is a data visualization of, of our eating habits in North America. Speaking on a more somber tone, this is uh, emissions where G20 nations are dark blue, not G20 nations are light blue. Uh, it, as David McCandless says, it seems like we're all suffering from information overload or data glut. The good news is that we can use our eyes to discover patterns for connections that do matter. Here, in, the, in this uh, sponge-type data visualization, we can see that Africa probably does not need as much water as the U.S. does. I wonder if they're not as thirsty as we are, but that's very interesting to note. Um, design is about solving problems and providing elegant solutions. Information design is about solving problems. Who do you think would make less mistakes if they chose the medical data sheet on the left or the right? Would less people die? I'm not too sure. The path of prote protest, this is an uh, interactive uh, data visualization where you take your mouse to the left and you navigate through the different days and you can click on any of those uh, spots there and it'll, and it'll forward you to an article on the web about what happened on that day. Uh, does anyone recognize any of these books on their bookshelf? Does anyone recognize any of the books that they've written on this? <laughs> Very interesting. I, I see a few favorites in there. I think, yeah, O'Reilly is uh, covered. Um, the, uh, this is a 2011 uh, description of marketing to boys and girls. You can almost see what's going on here. Actually, not almost. You, it's very evident. <laughs> Still happens to this day. Very interesting. The billion dollar o gram is, is done by David McCandless. When we combine the language of the eye with the language of the mind, we are open to altering our perspective. We let the data set change our mindset. As you can see, there's some revenues by Google on the right side there, but compare that with the cost of the potential cost of the financial crisis to the US government, i.e. us. Well, I live in Canada, but don't let that stop you. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, Mountains Out of Molehills, a timeline of global media scare tactics, or stories rather, <laughs> tactics, almost say that. Um, pink is the uh, uh, swine flu, uh, the dark blue is wasp uh, issues, oh, and something, I don't know. Peak breakup times, according to Facebook status updates, as you can see in the middle of April there, where the MySQL conference occurs, uh, not too high a chance to break up. <laughs> <laughs> This is not the time to do it. Uh, OK, and then some geeky uh, data visualizations. In closing, the last slide after this one is a data visualization of the most common words in star sign predictions. And in the effort to save you time in reading your predictions every day for the rest of your life, I will recite your meta horoscope made from 4,000 words or 4,000 predictions. Ready? Sure? Whatever the situation or secret moment, enjoy everything a lot. Feel able to absolutely care. Expect nothing else. Keep making love. Family and friends matter. The world is life, fun, and energy. Maybe hard or easy. Taking, wow, 
and the end. 